<sighs> hey, Joni. Joni? Mm, yeah? You want to wake up and help us with the video? Oh, but it's so cozy. Oh, <laughs> you had a nice little nap, haven't you? Oh, yeah. My little friend here. Oh, it's so Isn't that this, fun? And the sheets. Oh, can you do without me and let me just sleep a little bit longer? Okay, well, you enjoy your nap. Just rest. That's why you're here. When you're ready, come on down and we'll work on the video then. Thank you for these nice, cozy sheets and rope and everything. Night, night. I'll turn the light off. When it's Christmas time, I light up a fire, gather friends and family. I just wanted to show everyone some of the things that we have to offer for sale here at Blessings on State. We do have quite a retail selection and we're able to order, so we can special order items as we need to. Let, I wanna just open that little blue kit down front. Will you show me that kit, please? And just show me what's in it. All right. This is our sleep kit from Comfy Sheets. You saw our friend Joni in bed earlier. We finally got her up. She's down here now helping us behind the scenes, but she was enjoying those comfy sheets. And this is a packet that you could give as a gift it includes an extra pillowcase, so if you're traveling in a hotel, especially these days, sometimes you like to take your own pillowcase with you when you travel. So this actually gives you a pillowcase to take for your travel. These are lovely sleep bath salts. This is a nice candle. Mmm, so relaxing. Don't burn it at my house. <laughs> we don't allow candles here but it would be great for you to use in your own home. This is in a metal container, so it really would be safe. If you put it on the marble counter, you would be fine with this. Then this is a sleep spray. This would be a linen spray. So spray it on your top of your sheet. You could spray it on your pillowcase. And again, you get that relaxing scent to help you go to sleep. All that comes in this beautiful little package. Now we were speaking about the comfy sheets. They're in front. We sell comfy sheets. We use them here. You know, one of the benefits of being the innkeeper is when I retire a robe or when I retire the sheets, I get to put them on my bed. And we actually have comfy sheets on the twin bed, on the queen bed, and on the king bed. And they're different colors. This is a gray color. We'll post the colors online so that you can see what it is. It's actually a gray bag with a cream color in it now that I'm looking. This is the cream color. They're kind of a microfiber, but they're not that hot microfiber. They're slick and soft and wonderful and so comfortable. But let me tell you, they wash a lot of times. Yes, a lot. You can wash them, pull them out. You don't have to feel like you have to iron the sheets before you put them on the bed. They're drier to bed. It's a great product by a great company. And we sell them for the same price that you can buy on the website and they'll drop ship directly to your home. So whatever I would pay for shipping would be whatever the rate is that you would pay to your destination. So order it as many as you want. I have some regular customers here in town that buy for a relative for holidays and for birthdays. All right, let's talk about this Chadworth and Haig robe. These are new to us, they're monogrammed. And it just kind of steps up our game a little bit here at Blessings on State. You know, we're always trying to step up our game. Mm -hmm. So that's just another way we do it. This is kind of a dove gray, a steel gray color. We have these in a cream color. There's a dusty blue, a dusty rose, and then a very pretty white one. And they're also soft and a microfiber material as well. Almost like the comfy sheets. That's right, but this is a different company, <laughs> Chadworth and Haig. And you pointed out there's an inside pocket in these robes. What'd you call it? <laughs> My snack pocket. That's her snack pocket. <laughs> That's where she's keeping her little snacks from the snack basket when she goes to bed. Mm -hmm. You don't have to get out of bed. Now we do have <laughs> these great little bears too. These bears are so soft and snuggly. Just, I mean, I can't even tell you how soft they are. And they also have Blessings robes on. See the big B? for blessings. Mm -hmm. So even our bears are decked out in robes. Another brand robe we offer is the Turkish Towel Company robe. And this is a slightly different texture. Very soft, very fluffy. This is a, a little thinner texture, but the Turkish Towel robes are much more fluffy and 
cozy kind of they're feeling. Very, they're yeah, all very cozy. Warm. They're, they're all cozy. very, very warm. So if you're like me and you don't keep the temperature up in your house very high, they will definitely keep you warm in the winter. That's great. Mm -hmm. And I gave these for Christmas last year. This was, you know how a fav favorite talk show host always did favorite things at Christmas time, still does because she publishes a big old magazine with her name on it. I try to do my favorite things at Christmas. So last year, my favorite things included these Turkish towel robes in white. Put us on your Christmas list. We've got the gray color in these fluffy robes and the brown color in the fluffy Turkish towel robes, as well as the white one mm -hmm. that you saw Joni wearing earlier. We've switched our table now to show you the various pottery items that we offer. The majority of these are hand thrown and by the Deneen Pottery, which is a made in the USA product. And we'll start on Kelly's right. Mm -hmm. This one has a nice logo picture of our house with blessings on state bed and breakfast. And it's enough to hold a nice amount of coffee without feeling like you're totally drowning yourself in it. <laughs> we offer this one in two colors, this kind of mustard color and the pale blue. Now that's a barrel style mug. What's the image on that one? Uh, we have the Blessings on State in uh, 2008, actually, this one, and it was with the pineapple. That's the year we were established, 2008, so that one we produced on our 10th anniversary. Do y'all know about the pineapple? I kind of taught my southern guests a little lesson today about the pineapple, because it's my understanding that, especially in the South, the pineapple is the image that you use for hospitality. Mm -hmm. So when you enter a home and there's a pineapple over the door, or at Christmas time. Can you think about those archway covers over a door that start sort of with a central pineapple and then the magnolia leaves fan out from there? That's a hospitality ornament on that door. So we do use pineapple as a symbol of hospitality because really honestly and truly, the biggest thing we go for here is hospitality. hospitality. So these barrel shaped mugs come in different colors. I'd like to talk to you about this one because this is actually a purple mug. It's very dark and if you hold it up in a certain light it looks purple but when I saw it I thought boy you sent me the wrong color this is brown. It really isn't it's a very deep plum and it's a beautiful mug. This also has the drawing of the house that Steve Varble did for us when we first opened. So these we produced at Christmas one year because people were asking for Christmas mugs I didn't do anything really specific to Christmas except that we did the green and the red. I love the way it's cut out. It kind of gives it that three-dimensional effect. You can feel it around the Blessings on State logo at the bottom as well. Mm -hmm. And as you see this, you'll see the drips inside and out. That's part of the charm on these mugs. And again, these are hand thrown. They're stamped on the bottom, Deneen Pottery here in the USA. These are our Christmas mugs that are really Christmas mugs. This one says, Christmas blessings on state. So you can kind of read it either way. Christmas blessings, blessings on state. And the design here is holly, leaves, and berries on the top and bottom. This also lists Jacksonville, Illinois. So a lot of our guests buy these to take home as a souvenir. People are Deneen Pottery collectors. So it's an easy gift to give to someone who likes to drink coffee or hot tea or hot cocoa. They're good sturdy mugs and they're just colorful. We have a variety of colors, we have a variety of shapes and we're real proud of these mugs. We also from Deneen Pottery have these Christmas ornaments. And again, it's our image, our logo, Blessings on State with our home, blue and white. And these are a little more fragile. You'd wanna be careful shipping them. But they're also manufactured by Deneen Pottery, what a surprise. I have coasters that also have the house on the front and say Blessings on State Jacksonville, Illinois. Mm -hmm. And we have them in our rooms and they do clean very easily, so. So that's it for the Deneen Pottery items. We have two others here and you can see the size is kind of larger size. These are from Gray Fox Pottery, also a Made in America item. We have this kind of gigundous orange one. And the truth is this is too much for me to make a cup of tea or you know if I was a coffee drinker which I am not but it would be too much but I use these for floral arrangements somebody's under the weather somebody's in the hospital I run it out I get a little bouquet in there and it's a beautiful little floral arrangement to give us a gift 
So we do have from the Gray Fox Pottery this giant orange mug, or flower vase if you ask yeah. me, and a beautiful green mug, the footed mug as well. Those are available from Gray Fox Pottery, and then they also manufactured these cute little magnets for us. Is the house on there? Oh no, it's the pineapple. It's the pineapple. Oh, What's nice. the pineapple stand for? Hospitality. All right, that's our mission. Here we are. Over time, I picked up a number of books, either by local authors or about local people. And so we do offer those for sale as well in our gift shop. You've got a couple there. What do you have? I have The Way We Were, volume one and two which is the Morgan County Historical Society. Um, I guess they presented these books. So these are great history books about the area. It talks about building the David Strawn Mansion, and it really does provide a good historical background for our community. They do, and these books were um, compiled by our local um, Greg Olson, actually compiled these books together for Morgan County. All right, these books are by J.D. Prophet. This is called Manchester Bluff, a Civil War novel, and Fever Run, a novel based on a true story. So again, this is a local author, and those are available here at Blessings on State. This is called Bluffs, a nerd's eye view. Bluffs is a town not far from here. How far would you say? Oh, 20 minutes. This one is a Trails Books Guide in Lincoln's Footsteps. Bill Maris' stories of his lifelong career at Illinois College, and Bill Maris was the uh, basketball coach and so it's um, just all about him and his time that he spent at Illinois College here in Jacksonville. And these four are about General Grierson. His home is down the street on East State Street. He's buried here in Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. He was a Civil War strategist. I listened to a wonderful lecture about how he kind of outsmarted everyone else. He had the fewest troops, the fewest soldiers with him and he was able to really, you know, travel around Vicksburg and down and around and not get caught. And it's really fascinating to follow him. This is The Colonel's Lady, the correspondence of Alice Kirk Grierson. This one's called Unlikely Warriors. If you look at this, he was in charge of the Buffalo Soldiers. So that's a very important part of our history. Mm -hmm. And I think when you look at this, it's an interesting book to hear or to read about how he led those very dedicated soldiers and they were able to do their work without, basically without being stopped, without being caught, without being shut down. A Just and Righteous Cause, Benjamin H. Grierson's Civil War Memoir, and Grierson's Raid, A Daring Cavalry Strike Through the Heart of the Confederacy. And then we've got, while you're wearing one, we have two okay. types of polo shirts. One is a paquet and the other is, what would you call that? This is a like performance, performance polyester is what it is. So it's like, like the wicking where it doesn't get really hot. These are available till they're gone. Mm -hmm. This is all we have. We can order the sheets, we can order the robes. We won't be ordering any of these anytime soon. And then let's talk about that makeup towel because the makeup towel is like the coolest thing ever. I place them in the room. Um, sometimes I will fold them up and I'll roll them up and I'll put them just right behind the um, sink, the little faucet there. Uh, um, whether you use it to wash your face or don't wash your face, most women don't think about it, but when you apply your makeup, you use your fingers and your hands. And here we use white towels most of the year. And um, we've had a lot of towels damaged because ladies will rinse their hands and they think that they're washing them. In reality, they're not. So the makeup towel is also a good way to um, not damaged towels in your home or in hotels or bed and breakfast like ours. You'll find that with your toiletries here. And I was the one that figured that out because I would get so aggravated. We have these great makeup towels. They're, they say makeup right on them. Hello. They do. And, and I, I use makeup towels when I clean my face, but I'm the best one to apply the foundation with my fingertips and then do a quick run under the water, kind of rub my thumb and my fingers together and think they're clean, and then dry them on the towel. Mm -hmm. And that's what I caught on to. I think people are using them to remove their makeup. They're just forgetting. So that's my tip for the day. If you're applying face makeup foundation, wash your hands when you're done. And then if you've got a makeup towel, 
that's a safer way to dry them even after you've washed them with mm -hmm. soap. And I think that pretty much covers us on the things that we sell retail here. I'm just gonna chat with you for a minute because we're not having nearly the number of guests that we used to have. No. It's because of COVID, like everybody else. Yeah. So retail really is important to us. And this holiday season, yes. having the Santa stroll, having the opportunity to do this video, just gives our small businesses the opportunity to kind of pivot, to, to try to make an alternate plan for the loss of revenue that we have. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate all that you will do to buy from us. You know, certainly the, the robes, the sheets, we use robes all the time. We use sheets all the time. All the time. We don't always use top of the line luxury sheets but they last a long time. Well, if you're gonna be stuck at home and quarantined, you might as well have a nice set of sheets, that's right? That's right, that's right. <laughs> Spoil um, yourself while you're Netflixing. <laughs> we've enjoyed spending this time with you and we hope you will buy from us, but we also hope you'll buy from our other local retailers who are participating in the Santa Stroll, the 12 Days of Loving Local. And thanks again to the Jacksonville Area Chamber of Commerce, the Jacksonville Area Convention and Visitors Bureau, and Jacksonville Main Street. Take care, y'all. Merry Christmas. Blessings on State has some pretty cool retail items. To place your order, all you have to do is message them on Facebook. Let Gwen know what you're interested in purchasing and whether you'll be picking it up or need it mailed to you. And you can even buy gift certificates. You can do that straight from the Blessings on State website. Happy shopping, y'all.